Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be watching episode 4 of The Last of Us. I have to say, I'm hoping for a change of pace from the last episode. It was really nice to get the backstory, I just didn't understand the point of it. So I'm either hoping that they tie it in a bit better this episode, or we get to see some more action. So without further ado, let's dive into the fourth episode. I'm excited to see where they are because now that they've got a car, they can move so quickly. I don't really know exactly. I don't think they know exactly where they're going either, but I think things are going to start pr moving pretty quickly here. Where'd you go? I take sure. that back. They might not be able to go as fast as I originally thought, but still quicker. How does that work? It's, a it's probably really gross. It's when liquid travels against gravity. An algebra. <laughs> <laughs> How can he not? I guess he did lose his daughter, but it's hard to see. She's trying so hard, and he's just this wall of resistance. <laughs> She's so funny. It's cool to see how, in spite of everything that's gone on in her education being from like a military school pretty much that she's got this rambunctious personality you're just gonna sit in a field hey where is he going but it i don't know this seems a bit weird that they'd have to hide so much actually smells kind of good You can't ignore her. You're traveling with her. Can I ask you a serious question? Yeah. Why did the scarecrow get an award? <laughs> because he was outstanding in his field. <laughs> now go to sleep. That would be a beautiful night. There's no way anyone knows we're here, right? Not if you be quiet. Don't start a fire. Shush. Sometimes you forget she's actually an, a child too, with her wit and her language, and then when she's obviously looking for reassurance and very clearly scared, then you kind of forget that she just needs those basic needs met and just some reassurance that everything's gonna be okay. Younger or older? Younger. Why is she here with you? Long story. Wow, she's really good at grilling him. <laughs> I told him, you're gonna have to eventually talk to her. Well, you can't escape her. her. She talks me to join in the fireflies. Same mistake he made when he was 18. He wants to save the world. I forgot about Marlene. I hope she's healed or getting some medical care and up and about. I have a feeling she'll come back though. You haven't seen the world so you don't know. You can't say that either. Keep going for family. <laughs> that was such an awesome transition. <laughs> the mouth hanging open. Oh man. This looks sketchy though, just so you know. Lots is happening and I'm not liking this at all. This looks like a great scene for something bad to happen. I wonder if he's ever traveled this far. I don't right. like this. I don't like it at all. Something bad is going to happen. Stop. Oh man, this was so up. recent too. Are we going to help him? No. Okay, I know. Oh my gosh, no! No! Was it a trap? It must have been a trap. How long were they waiting there? He's a great shot. Also, I know that the last episode was low in action and I was really banking on some more this time. I take that back. They only had the truck for... 
a few minutes, it feels like, too. Come on, Ellie. Come on. Oh, this is gonna change her whole... Her whole being. Her whole sense. Don't tell him. There's a lot going on in this scene. Joel's pissed, but also happy. Ellie's transition to knit this killer. Poor Brian is paralyzed. <laughs> it's almost it is worse that they had to that they had a battle with non-infected humans because it's just uh, the, everyone's got the same goal. Everyone just wants to survive and get through to the next day. People are looking for Brian very quickly. The Berg quests. Hmm? I love no. her. She's Mark amazing. Anthony Halpin. I didn't know she was in this show. Carrie Schreiber. Haven't seen them. Love how in movies where they have big crowds, there's always one person that pushes people out of the way, but they're not actually pushing people. You know, doctor guy's dead. Oh god, I don't want to watch it. I have no idea who these people are. Oh, go ahead. Let yourself in. That's fine. Are you all right? Oh, thanks yeah. for asking, Joel. Thing is, is I didn't hear that guy coming. And you shouldn't have had to, have, you know. Well, you're glad I did, right? <sighs> That's tough. That's not a good situation, but you had to do what you had to do to survive. And you shouldn't know what it means to... I'm really upset they don't have the truck anymore. So they did not have it for very long. They did not get it as far as I wanted them to. They're finally being vulnerable with each other. She's not cargo to you anymore, Joel. You actually care about her. It wasn't my first time. She also stabbed that guy in the leg pretty quickly at the beginning. So that doesn't surprise me. She's earned it. He says he's not good at these types of conversations and being a decent person, I suppose, in general. But he he doesn't just no sign of them. glaze yeah. over things. Okay, did they find tra Henry's trail or did they find Joel's trail? Pretty sneaky. Okay, do they have a child? Does Henry have a child with him? It just gets worse and worse each time something else comes up. What is that? What is it? Tell us, what is it? Oh, I don't like that at all. I don't think your gun's gonna do anything against whatever that was, though. When do we tell the others? Immediately. Please tell everyone. Not yet. Kathleen, what are you Let's doing? Let's just handle what we have to handle. We can deal with this after. Kathleen. <laughs> after. It's like a pretty big issue. Ellie. <laughs> well, neither of you would listen to each other. What do you expect? Look at the city and find our Is way this out. the same building with that weird crater issue? You can do it. Get to the top. Joe! What? What are you doing? <laughs> so grumpy. When we were talking about hurting people, what did you mean it wasn't your first time? I don't want to talk about it. That's the first time she's ever said that. Joel's talking to her a lot more, too. Having to deal with all of this. You'd hear the glass or not. It's because I've noticed you don't hear too well from your right side. Ooh, insightful. Probably more from shooting. So if you want to keep your hair and you stick to that knife. It's a good way to change the subject and segue away from that. Did you know diarrhea is hereditary? What? It runs in your genes. <laughs> oh, they're bonding. I don't want to get too invested because they're... We know. We know what happens. But it's nice to see where they've come. Joel. Joel! Oh no. Oh no. It's Henry and Sam. It has to be. It can't be anyone else. Okay, I'm 
very happy with that episode. We got a lot more action. We finally got to see Joel and Ellie finally bond, so that was awesome to see. We got some new characters. No infected. For this type of show, we're not seeing a lot of infected individuals, so I'm a little bummed. I'm hoping that maybe they'll have a big plot twist. It could have something to do with that sinkhole that's in the middle of the basement. Well, I don't know what's happening there, so drop your comments and let me know what you think it is. Other than that, I'm really looking forward to next week. Hopefully we'll get some more plot twists and some more answers and see who Henry and Sam are all about. Thanks so much for watching and I can't wait to watch episode 5. I hope you'll join me and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Yeah!